I want to share our experience with you so that you don't make the same mistake that we did because it was not the smartest thing, but no one ever told us and we had, we no, had idea no idea what we were doing. Well, all good things must come to an end and unfortunately the Griffiths Family Reunion 2020 is one of those things. We are packing up this morning and we are hitting the road. Lucy, she's not happy about this. Do you want to spend the weekend? Wait, where are you going? With Cody and Olivia? Because that's the plan. You're, You're not coming home with weekend. us. Nope, no sir. Are you guys up for this challenge? Oh, let's see how she does. Poopy diaper and all. <laughs> you could change your diaper. <laughs> oh, I won't make you do that right now. Look at this sunrise and the reflection of the windows. It's like so pretty. Here's what it looks like in real life. Bonnie and I were outside. We were down there chit chatting. We looked up in this window. Oh, look at Porter. He's rolling down the cement. Like a grass hill, but a cement hill. Anyway, we looked up in the window and Emma was standing here just like, you know, looking as cute as she is. Emma how? Emma has a hat on, yeah. I don't know what he's doing down there. Are you two comparing owies? Who has the most owies? Is like the strongest? Me. You're the strongest because you have more owies? Did she find a seat? Lucy? Yeah. Do you care if she comes with us? Well, she's not going home with me, but she's not going home with you either. <laughs> we'll spin the wheel and see who, see who Lucy goes home with. So we're trying to get in our last goodbyes and Porter or Cooper and Emma are so excited to tell Aunt Ellie about their new house. And Cooper says, we're gonna walk, knock down a wall. <laughs> Say that again, what are we gonna do? We're gonna knock down a wall. We're gonna knock down a wall. Well, now he pronounces it, but it was funny <laughs> Next time I see you, I'll have it ready. My for you. suit. Okay. I think that's Eve's. Yeah, and it's too heavy, so Dad, hide this from me. <laughs> Eve will never know. Porter, you get a I love you. You have fun. You're going to Bonnie's house, but Bonnie won't be there. Bree's gonna take care of you. You know Bree? Yeah. Okay, you be good for her, okay? Okay. Oh, don't you start those tears now. Don't you start those tears or you're gonna make mama cry. All right, so Lucy is going with grandma in her truck, but they're gonna be going to Bonnie's house. You're gonna be with Bree and Porter for the weekend. I love you. You'll be good for them, okay? You go potty in the toilet. I have a new house for me when I get back. That's right, we'll explain everything in just a little bit. Okay, so we got rid of not got rid of, but the two youngest kids are with Bonnie's nanny, Bree. The two older kids are going to be with Grandma Daru. Grandma Daru is taking Emma and Cooper camping with all of her side of the family, and she's showing them this fun it's game. Bacon to go with the eggs. The, did you paint all of those? Yes. Those are so cute. I did it up at Jack's bacon to go with so cute, and they're going on a flashlight hunt with them to find those rocks. So cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna have so much fun camping with grandma. Oh, kids are giving me hugs. I love you too. Have fun camping without me. Do you know that I am letting you two go because I trust you? I didn't let Lucy and Porter go camping without me, but I'm letting you two go because I think you guys are gonna have fun and I trust you. All right, Landon, why did we get rid of all of our kids? Because we got work to do and that work like, is really hard to do with kids around. Like. Buying a house? Yep, exactly. You wanna go buy a house? Sure. Let's, let's do, do it. it. <gasps> let's go buy a house. Okay, so here's the thing with buying a house. For the past month, I have been stressed out of my mind because it's like, is this gonna really go through? Is this not gonna go through? And with our lender, like getting the loan and stuff, that's taken a lot more time and it's been more complicated because we are self-employed. 
And so we knew we were closing today, but we also knew that there was a small chance of it not happening today because of the lender waiting on them to look over stuff. And sure enough, they called us and they were like, um, we don't have the papers ready quite yet, so we're gonna have to extend the closing date. So we had to create another addendum for the contract and we pushed the closing date out a, couple of a days. few days. So we're not closing today, but the kids are out of our hair, which means we can pack and clean and still do a lot of work without the kids, which is kind of what we needed is just some time Time, are you there? There we go. Time away from the kids to get work done. So, we've got a lot of work. We'll keep you posted. We're gonna keep the same vlog going and we are gonna close, right? We are gonna make it happen, yes. Okay. And when Julie says she's been a little stressed, like, no, like, Julie doesn't get too stressed usually. I'm not a high-strung person. She's not. This has stressed her out, and rightfully so. Like, there's a lot of steps, a lot of people involved. There's just so much going on. Communication so. between like oh, gosh. so many people. When yeah. they, when people say buying a house is stressful, they're not kidding. They're not joking. It has been stressful, and I'm not saying like we're unique, but being self-employed really does add a, level a little bit that. more stress mm -hmm. to it. So we will keep you posted on Monday. We are excited to go grab those keys and sign the papers. We'll get this done. Today is finally the day where we are closing on our house. The closing date got extended a few times and it was our mistake. And so for all of you first time homeowners or buyers, I want to share our experience with you so that you don't make the same mistake that we did because it was not the smartest thing, but no one ever told us and we had, we no, had idea no idea what we were doing. So. We had a CD, which was the bulk of our down payment, and it happened to mature when we needed it to, thank goodness. So we had that as our down payment, and the other chunk of our down payment we have is cash. And so we didn't think anything of it, and our lender at the beginning of the process never asked us or said anything like, when and where is this money gonna come from? So not too long ago, we thought we should probably deposit that money. So we went and deposited it. And then when he asked for our bank statements, he was like, wait a minute, where did this cash deposit come from? And we were like, oh, we've been saving for 12 years. And he was like, no, 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 no. You can't use cash as your down payment. He's like, it hasn't had time to season in the bank. We don't know where this cash came from. What if it's money laundering? Laundering? Yep. L laundering? Laundry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so thing. we were like, oh crap. We like, I was sick. Like, I was so sick about it, which is why I have been so quiet on Instagram about this whole house buying process because I didn't think it was going to go through. Like, so many times I was like, Landon, we're not going to get the house. And then that happened, and I was like, oh crap. Like, what are we going to do now? It was like, it was a dumb mistake. And even my siblings were like, I had no idea. And also as a, down, as a down payment, you can't have that money gifted to you. So I couldn't be like, okay, well, let me take that cash, give it to a sibling, have that sibling write us a check. Like it can't be a gift either. So. It's just crazy. Yeah. Like the whole process is like cash is king. Cash is what it is. And so I don't know. It's not just, when it comes to big chunks of money as down payments for I a house. Not. But our lender was really like helpful and he was able to finagle things around and like change things up with our um, loan and everything. So we made it work. It will be fine. And we are closing today. It just had to like get pushed out, which was like very, very stressful. Well, and the sellers are nice too. The sellers could have been like, no, if you want to extend, we're going to find somebody else. And, but they were really nice. They've to been let us. really, really good to work with. So, long story short, we are going to go purchase our house today and get the keys. And we are so excited to like finally call something ours. We just got to the title office and this couple walked out. I swear. The guy's like 12 years He's old. He's not 12 years old. He was probably 22 years old. I'm like, you are too young to be buying your first home. And I think that's the that's the bittersweet part of this is like we've waited so long for our home. We've watched all of our siblings get into homes. Which we've been happy for. Oh, them. absolutely. We, it's not like, absolutely. Oh, it's like, yeah, it is. And it's it is. fun for them to be excited for us too. But it's finally our turn. Woohoo! Let's go buy a house. Good morning. It feels so professional being here. They even offered us a drink. And everybody's safe. Look at this plexi. Oh, you have nice handwriting. I like his handwriting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's the 2020, the full 2020. Thank you. Your turn.
Whose keys are you holding, huh? Oh, just the keys to our new house. Woohoo! Woo we got the keys, and this is like a jump drive of the million documents that we just signed. Yeah, it's crazy, that process, but we got through it quick. And now we have like 45 minutes left of babysitter time, so let's go grab some lunch. Woohoo, you guys, look, we have keys, we have keys. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, next video is going to be a home tour, so be sure to watch that and, and come along with us. We're so excited.